I'm going to be using US Cutter Vinyl Cutter um, to make a mask for this pen. Um, and then I'll be doing some chemical etching on this um, to engrave a name um, right on this flat spot. I just um, put the text in with the text tool, but you can, of course, import an image uh, from like Inkscape or other um, vector softwares. Um, and so I'm ready to cut. Um, my vinyl cutter is connected. I can go ahead and proceed and it will continue. So, um, since it's pretty high resolution, or this is pretty small, this is ripping up the letters, but that's okay because I was going to take I them out. Take out the rest of these letters. Looks like it cut pretty well. Um, just trying to not damage the surrounding vinyl. Looks like the blade pulled a little bit too much material out of the C and the A, so I think I'm going to cut it again. This vinyl is a little thicker. I think that that might hold up better against the fine detail. Looks much better. I don't see anything peeling on here, um, so I'll go over and weed that now. And looks like it's not quite peeling up. So on this thicker vinyl, it didn't cut all the way through, so I'm going to have to increase the cut depth. So I'm just going to loosen this up, pull out our blade, um, and we can loosen the brass piece here. Um, now I can push the blade forward a little bit and tighten that down again. And now the blade up here should be sticking out just ever so slightly more. There's also a lot of vinyl here stuck on the blade. That may have caused it to pull up material. And it's just as easy to put it back in. Set my origin and cut another time. And I'll try again to weed this out. I'm not sure if you can see this on the camera, but this one definitely looks like it cut deeper. And yep, there we go. Um, this is peeling now, so I'll just take out all of the insides of the letters now. It's definitely cutting out better than the last time. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. This is a little bit of masking tape I'm going to put over it. Um, that's just because I want the center of the A um, to be carried along with the rest of the vinyl. And this is probably going to be the hardest part, um, centering the text on this flat spot here. And that looks like it's pretty centered. Um, I think the center of the A shifted a little bit and I have to make sure all of this is seated properly before I apply any of the vinegar. So this is just regular vinegar. Um, nothing special about it. Normally I would put this in a bath, a vinegar bath, but I'm just going to try using a Q-tip. Um, and I'm confident that all the vinyl is fully stuck. Um, if there's anything not sealed, then the vinegar could seep through and contaminate the rest of it. But I'm just going to apply the vinegar um, on the surface. And we should see all of the colorization fade away. And when it's all silver, then I can dry it off. I say it's probably less than 30 seconds and all the vinegar um, has dissolved the, the blue away. So I'm gonna go rinse this off. And now when we peel this back, uh, we can find out whether or not it worked. Uh, looks like it's possible some vinegar may have seeped in there. But on the surface, um, it's a pretty crisp line. I can see that's probably where the vinegar had broken through um, under the back. Um, but other than that, I think that the name shows up well. So even though the text might not be centered perfectly, uh, I think I'm satisfied with the way um, it came out. Uh, and I think it's a finished product now.